Hi everyone, and it's almost 11 11, and it's 28th of September. I'm living for the ride, and uh, it's gonna be fun. Uh, hope to keep you posted. Everything is done, dusted, like set, helmets, luggage, bike, bags, everything. I'm a little bit confused right now since I was working all day and this is going to be the first night ride. Uh, and I'm in the second uh, planned one. Let's see how it goes. Finally, the first uh, fuel stop at uh, Mangeshi, where special appearance of Mr. Chakru. And that's Viru and uh, Abhijit. Yes. We are heading our journey now from the Goa Mangeshi petrol pump at 12.15. Let's do this. We are going to buy petrol and we are going to buy petrol. And we are going to buy best of luck. We are going to buy petrol and we are going to buy petrol. Yeah, say hi! Yeah, boy! While we were traveling from the Anmod Ghat, it was totally packed, jammed with trucks due to landslide. And on the way, while we were crossing the trucks, it happened to me that I broke my mirror over here. Uh, so we have almost covered now another 150 kilometers. <laughs> There is a road construction and a lot of things, but it's fun. It's fun, it's a good experience, and it is almost 3 30 am. And we met a solo rider who's traveling to Kanyakumari. Your good name? Others okay. from Hubli. Others uh, from Hubli, yes. And he's traveling solo with his bike that's Dominar. Purankoi at 3 o'clock. After 197 kilometers of non stop riding, we have finally come to an halt at Chaitapri for uh, making our engine hot. This is the first chai our boys are having. After a massive 197 kilometers. No stop. Very good morning. After a quick nap, we are fresh. The view. Hey, Gotea, it's Alki. The sky is very beautiful, trust me. Just like my face. After riding whole night, we thought we will take a small break in the morning before the sunrise and we thought of waiting at the petrol pump just for a quick power nap and when we got up after like 15-20 minutes this was the view from night to the morning the sky just changed like anything the view was so amazing Kashmir, this was completely different experience to sleep at the petrol pump in the night, freshen up over there and you know start back again. <laughs> Somewhere near Bareilly, we have halted for the freaking forest. Ballari. Ah, Ballari. Not a single option of restaurant on the way. This is Dosa. This is Dosa and Baji. We are almost reaching to the city Ballari. And since last half an hour we couldn't find anything, so we thought of waiting over here at this mobile canteen and they have a pretty good food the food was great because we were hungry that's our outside the table room we're done with the breakfast so we head to the next uh, 350 kilometers which is left 
and should be smooth and so on. We have our fuel up stop over here, another 170 kilometers to go. Why is it so cold? Juice. It's a jam. It's a jam. It's a jam. And we have covered almost 600 kilometers so far. Uh, it's been almost 12 hours we have been riding and very tired so far. But it's good. Uh, we will cover the remaining 170-180 kilometers and should be there by evening at the destination. Enjoying this ride. Have the same spirit throughout the remaining ride as well. Riding our bike for 100 kilometers, 150 kilometers non stop for one hour, two hour on this open road, and you know, there's such a beautiful highway, it's so soothing. It is really a stress buster. Trust me, this is so much fun. It's 50 kilometers to reach to the destination that is Sri Salam and it has been a wonderful ride so far but uh, zero casualties this time <laughs> this is the last pit stop like uh, chai chips and all junk food and this is a beautiful view around right now you see the sky is clean and it's a mixture of everything and we are loving it we are like almost 50 70 kilometers away from the final destination that is Salem and this is gonna take another two hours we are currently crossing the naga arjun sri Salem tiger reserve and uh, we are only afraid of one thing that we might get attacked by some wild animals and so the roads are really nice uh, crossing the forest area and there were traffic also in between and we loved riding over here this took us almost around two hours crossing this area so after crossing the tiger reserve you get a small cart and the road is nice and smooth like they have maintained it very well but one thing you should know if you're coming this side is that uh, the roads to Sri Salem from the tiger reserve gets closed by 6 pm and it will be open by 6 am the next morning 
so you will have to plan your uh, ride or drive accordingly if at all you all are planning to come this side viru abhijit and me we were all in line together riding at our pace and uh, the curves and the corners were so smooth and so good like we could literally interact on the intercom and we enjoyed this so after crossing the ghat area we have finally almost entered the sri selam temple area and this is the entrance on the left hand side over here you can see a uh, ganesh temple uh, the ganesh over here was black in color uh, we did not have much time to get down and enter but we took the mukh darshan from outside itself ganpati bappa moria and after this we reached at the entrance where the toll has to be paid for the cars but uh, bikers can get inside freely uh, bikers don't have to pay any charges Uh, that's the best thing when you are on your own bike and riding to different areas in india uh, also it is sunset time right now it is almost 6:30 7:00 and uh, we have almost reached the temple and uh, the temple was showing around 1 and 1/2 km and at the same time we were looking for hotels as we had to check in and uh, freshen up ourselves uh, since we have not done a pre check in because we were not sure like what time we might reach but the area over here uh, looked little crowded at this moment and uh, yes we have almost reached on the left hand side you can see sri salem malikarjun jyotirling we reached at uh, our final destination and we also checked in and that's our room over here the room is little messed up with all the gears and helmets and clothing hey viru kaha na tare bas bolo baala gela bitte hey baala kitlo bad re now today the remaining time is about resting giving some break to us and uh, tomorrow early morning we'll get freshen up and we'll head towards the temple